Come cook with me. This is Let Us Eat. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna cook. We're gonna make some scrambled eggs for my kids that are still sleeping. And I'm gonna throw together my dinner into my crock pot and we're gonna make crock pot spaghetti sauce for tonight because it's gonna be raining after three o'clock. It's been raining a lot while on vacation. Tomorrow's gonna be a really nice dry day and we're gonna grill again. We were able to grill last night. We did some steaks and corn on the cob on the grill. We had some french fries that we threw into the oven and it was a really nice dinner here on vacation. We usually don't eat out a lot even on vacation. I meal plan and we bring some food as well as go to the supermarkets like Market 32 and Aldi from the grocery hauls that I did while on vacation and I'll post those links in my description box down below for everyone to enjoy. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed in the past few days. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the views while I've been on vacation, enjoying bringing you the Berkshires in the best of this area. Yesterday, we went to go see a covered bridge over in Charlemont, Massachusetts. It was gorgeous. It had a waterfall raging underneath it. I can only get a top view. There was no real way to get to the bottom. And then we found an unmarked waterfall in route, which was really beautiful as well. If you are new here, my subscribe guy just popped up and he's asking everybody to go ahead and like this video. So go ahead and smash that like button. Click on that subscribe word down below. Tap on that bell so you will be notified. Let's get cooking. This is my kitchen on vacation. It's keep it clean and organized. Give you a full view from both angles. I have a dishwasher on vacation. It's a single sink. It's one downfall about it. No garbage disposal, but I don't like those to begin with. Plenty of counter space. Oven, stove top, microwave. Full size stainless steel refrigerator. And the dinner table. First, I'm going to start with making the scrambled eggs. I'm going to use the rest of them because Market 32 has a sale 77 cents for a dozen. That is a great deal because they're $1.93 at Aldi. Of salt. Two teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. Some people put a splash of milk. I'm not. I find they cook better. That's just the eggs, and then you're going to whisk it with your fork until they're broken up and all the spices are blended in. And turn the oven to high. I'm gonna add some butter to the pan. Butter nicely melted.
sprinkle a little bit of salt on the pan so the oils don't splat in your face. Once the butter is almost melted, we'll pour the egg mixture right on it. I'll show you the aerial view when they start solidifying. and stir. And I'm going to reduce the heat to about five. Meantime, I'm going to grab my cans for my can puree. And I have bell peppers to put into the sauce too that I want to use. I'm going to be grilling chicken. Because of the rainy weather we had, we decided not to go over to Boston to visit my brother in Concord. And we're going to stay and enjoy the outdoor pool tomorrow. scrambling very nicely. They are scrambling very nicely. If you wanted to make an omelet, you wouldn't scramble them and you would flip over one side. These scrambled eggs are done. And transfer the eggs to my plate here. And let them cool down. Perfect scrambled eggs. Turn the crock pot on to low. Let's add the cans first, and then I will chop up the bell pepper. This is a canned puree that I make. I use two cans of paste, two cans of spaghetti sauce, and one can of just tomatoes. Together some Italian sausage style meatballs. You can use ground turkey or ground beef, whatever you wish. These are the paste that we buy at Aldi. We've been buying them for years there. Relatively inexpensive. And you get six ounces per can. So different cooking away from home. I didn't bring my wooden spoons that I like to use to get all the paste out. I brought rigatoni for the pasta for tonight. 
And I may have my husband pick up some, some Texas toast when he goes to Aldi later. For the spices, three teaspoons of black pepper and three teaspoons of garlic. I'm not going to add any onions today. My husband's not really a big fan of them. Let's go ahead and Pop up a bell pepper. Let's save the other one for my husband to grill with the chicken tomorrow. These were $2.99 at Aldi in New York. They were beautiful. Big, plump bell peppers. And this is all you should discard. The insides of the crown. Even if my best friend is not staying for dinner, just lunch, I want something yummy cooking in the room all day long. So it smells amazing after we come back from hiking up at Mount Greylock, visiting the summit. I am so excited. Just going to cut them about an inch thick. Nothing fancy. Toss them into the crock pot. I'm just going to roll the sausages into balls. I'm not going to do anything fancy by adding black pepper or eggs or anything. At home, I would. It's just easier this way. Make sure the paper is completely off. I'm going to pinch the ground sausage. And then you're going to roll it into a ball about that size and throw them into the crock pot raw. You don't have to cook them. You can cook them if you want, but it wastes electricity and time. Not to mention extra dishes and washing. Make sure they're completely together. They will cook thoroughly in your crock pot. I think I am going to preheat my oven because there's bacon left so the kids can have bacon with their eggs this morning since we're leaving Friday. It's going to be raining again and my kids got a driver's test at home Friday afternoon so hopefully the rain will be over in the Albany area. It's made six sausage style meatballs. This is what the spaghetti and Italian sausage style meatballs looks like with the awesome bell pepper in there. And I'm going to mix it well. It's all I could find was a spat for baking. And it actually works really well. Make sure everything's all blended together. And this is going to sit on low for about six hours. And then we're going to put it to keep warm. I saw this real easy recipe for dynamite cake on TikTok. And I'm going to replicate it and add it to the cook with me. Open up the can of apples and dump them on in. 
And this is one pound of Muslims. Let's see what we preheat the oven to. 350 degrees. Oven's preheating to 350 degrees. Then you take your cake mix as is. And you're going to dump it right over the apples. Make sure it completely covers the apples. Smooth it out. And you're going to take butter and you're going to layer it. And I'll show you an aerial view when I'm done. Place some butter. and rows across the top. Just like that. This is a real easy cake to make that tastes like you baked from scratch all day long. Wipe my hands with the butter. This will go into a 350 degree oven for 38 minutes. I'm going to time it for 34 and then we'll chuck it. I always put a pan like this on a cookie sheet so it's easy to put into the oven and take out. And directly in the center of the rack. Thirty four minutes. I have about ten minutes left. So let's peek into the oven. And it smells so good. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm just going to turn it around so it cooks evenly. Look at how awesome this looks. It's an apple crumb cake. And I found this on TikTok. The cake is done. It is a dump and go cake. And it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Let's take it out of the oven. The apple dump cake is completely done. And here's what it looks like. It looks awesome. And this is for when I get back from visiting the waterfalls and hiking today. That is it for today's video. Well, we are going to wait and do the bacon tomorrow. That apple dump cake came out absolutely perfect. It's an apple crumb, just like a peach cobbler. Awesome. It's going to be delicious later after we're done hiking today. If you are new here, thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed in the past few days. Welcome aboard to my family here at Lettuce Eat. I like to bring you... Great videos of quick, easy, cheap, and frugal recipes with through Cook With Me. And I also have a Dollar Tree Dinners edition. And I'll put links to both those players lists in my description box below. If you are new here, my subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everybody to go ahead and like this video. Smash that like button. Click on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell so you'll be notified.